corporal in the Swedish Marines. Uh, I'm deployed here for six months in Timbuktu, Mali. Uh, I belong to uh, the 1st Amphibious Regiment. Uh, in, uh, in the Swedish uh, force here in uh, Timbuktu, I belong to the guard unit and uh, we are responsible for the security at the gate leading into Camp Nobel. Uh, I'm also part of uh, the street level engagement team uh, that interact with the local population in, uh, in the area. I am the kind of commander of the female engagement team and that is when we put together a whole patrol of only females. We usually talk to women uh, when we're out and I mean it's uh, in Mali 51% of the population so it would be kind of uh, strange if we didn't talk uh, to women so that's kind of what we do. I mean the, our male colleagues do that as well if they can. I do feel like um, female soldiers and officers are very important in a peacekeeping mission like this one. Uh, we are able to interact with the female population in a different way than male soldiers. And uh, my experience from the street level engagement patrols we've been on is uh, that the female population are, uh, appreciate uh, us being female and uh, are much more eager to, to talk to us and give us information because of the fact that we are female. We percept things from different uh, uh, angles and uh, to have uh, females in my troops I can also reach uh, half of the population. Everyone in the, the MINUSMA organization play an important part and uh, as a female soldier here uh, and with the ability to interact with the female population uh, I feel like I can, can contribute to solving the tasks given and, and thereby uh, helping uh, the nation of, of Mali in a good way. A mission is always like testing yourself, uh, that you actually know the things that you should know. So. It's good. I definitely feel like I have the support of my friends and family and uh, that they support both me and the mission and uh, that they too feel like the work we do here is important. So I definitely feel like I'm able to talk about my work and uh, my time here and uh, that I have the support system back at home. The Swedish armed forces are supposed to mirror their society, so I think that's one of the reasons that we have uh, quite a lot of women. And uh, in my, under my command I have approximately 20 women, that makes up uh, around 11%, and, uh, but I wish I had more. <laughs>